I'm guessing sound is on. Um, if not, then I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> so the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna check. First thing I'll do is um, make sure everything's in my path. So n and then npm is the node. Um, Node.js and it's the modular installer thingy. Um, npm, so it's in my path. Uh, this is the version I'm running. Cordova, which is uh, phone gap. Apache Cordo Cordova. I'm running 4.0. Um, Ionic. And I'm running 1.28. So all, all these are in my path. Um, ADB, I think it is. ADB is the uh, Android uh, debugger. Um, so basically, the tools for Android, the, the SDK, I think, are in my path. All right, I know they're in my path, but I think this will validate that. So I'm running 1.032. All right, so the next thing I'll do is I'll check this out. I mean, clone. All right, and then I'll uh, create a new project. So the site root should be the W. Let's just take a look. So. This is the folder. It got checked out as uh, Ionic Concept, which is in this directory, Ionic Concept. So the site root is the www folder under Ionic Concept, and the project name is Ionic Concept. And finish, and it opens, and then um, to actually build it's, it's currently set up for Android. That's the only platform. So if you wanted to add a platform, uh, you do Ionic platform add. And I checked in and added the Android um, platform. So we're not going to do that now because I think I don't want to blow things up. But under the platforms directory is an Android directory. So you, you can do Ionic build Android, or you can just do Ionic build, which will build all the platforms. And so this, um, this will eventually build a uh, APK file, a, a debug APK file, I believe. Android build. So th this uh, one of these can be installed on your Android device uh, via the USB cable. Um, to get it into the Google Play Store, you have to do other gymnastics, which um, I've captured in this release shell script, which can be converted to a bat script to run on Windows, but essentially you need to sign it. Um, I'm sorry, first you need to build it with a release tag. And then you need to sign it. <coughs> um, and then zip align it with the uh, Android SDK tools. And um, well, this last line here actually pushes it to the to my phone, to the device. Okay, so once it's once you build it, you can run it. So when you click the, I have it set up to run in Chrome. You click the green button here to run the project. That opens up. That opens up the project in Chrome and with the NetBeans connector. So I've.
install the NetBeans connector uh, into Chrome so that NetBeans and Chrome can talk to, get, talk to each other. And um, so I like to pull it out into its own window and then um, using the NetBeans extension, you can uh, select smartphone, which then puts it into a little smartphone type little window. And uh, basically you can change on the fly. You click save and you'll see this flash. Picks up the changes. You see handbook. up the changes. Um, what I don't like is it it, uh, it screws up the back button so um, yeah, that's a little flaw I guess. But ideally there should be a back. Alright so you click this there should be a back button for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know it goes away. So I think that covers, I don't know, it's just a short tutorial, I guess.